All right, today we're switching gears, we're going to compare a Ripatuned TRX intake. Um, this is a non cold air version versus the AFE intake, which is right here. And this is the regular super stock, and basically it has like a carbon fiber end piece and then two filters that go in there and it utilizes your factory uh, ram air induction setup. The only problem with this intake, and this I've had this for a while, is that taking this thing on and off is a huge pain. So if you work on the car, you're constantly having to hit this bolt, this bolt, uh, these don't have to come off. Uh, but then you've got your corner ones uh, for your mounts. These ones just actually kind of leave off a lot of times. And um, you have to constantly take that, unhook, and it's just kind of a pain in the ass. So I don't really like how much of a pain it is for this huge ass setup. And plus it's kind of heavy, a lot of stuff to this. And then the Rivertune setup, which I bought this used, it was around 550 shipped. Uh, which is about the same price as the AFE one. Um, and it comes with two arms, one for the big old throttle body, which I have. And then it's got like the regular green filter. You can get this pretty much in any color you want. This just happened to be black and with the green filter. Honestly, I have to look up the difference between the, the filters because I don't know. Um, but so we're gonna put this on. I'm gonna get some before footage uh, in here with the GoPro of how it sounds and like uh because that's going to be the big difference i don't have any good way other than throwing it on a dyno which i'm not gonna be able to get and you have to pull the drive shafts the whole thing um but i am going to compare like the difference in sound and so that's going to be the big focus um looks sound aesthetics and those kind of things i will do a draggy run and just compare to my prior draggy run with this uh intake but the weather's different so it won't be a great uh, comparison uh, there's too many variables on these supercharging just to really say if one makes more power than the other um, but I can compare the sound, and so that's what we're going to do and focus on in this video. So. Basically, you've got 10 millimeters here, you've got 13 here, and these are 11, I think. Uh, and then this whole thing kind of comes all together in like one piece. The biggest pain of this AFB is these damn uh, elbows. They're just annoying. It's not hard, it's just like I usually have to put a little hole on them to kind of get to go in and off. This thing is freaking big. All right. So as you can see, I've got the bigger throttle body. I think that's a Nick Williams, if I'm not mistaken. And this is what it comes with, basically, this arm. I use a stock piece, and I was able to get on this bigger throttle body, but it's hard. Uh, it's not easy. You have to stretch it. It's a big pain in the butt. So it'd be nice to have an actual elbow. And if you look at this too, this doesn't look like it probably shoots straight in, kind of bent down. So I don't know if it's getting like great flow. So I think that one's actually probably going to be better. All right, just get a weight comparison. We're going to weigh the stock intake uh, without the arm by itself. And it is roughly 19 pounds. Well, actually, yeah, right at 19 pounds. It's fluctuating between. Yeah, so 19 pounds, 15 ounces is our final weight on this. Alright, and then this weighs next to nothing. So we're just going to say 2 pounds. So we'll just say 21 pounds total for the intake. And that's on the AFE. And then we'll weigh the... Rip okay, now we're going to weigh the Ripitone intake. This is with all the uh, little bands and everything on it. So 19 or 21 total for the other. And it's 5 pounds, 14 ounces. So we'll just say 6 pounds. So you're looking at basically 15 pounds of weight savings between the so two. So since things. I bought the shoes, it did not come with a mounting bolt. There's no instructions or anything. So uh, it looks like the mounting point is right here. With this bolt coming off. 
basically a bracket for your AC lines. And you just take that loose, slide that in. I had to make my own because it didn't come with any bolts for up here. Uh, and then it looks like it's got a slide mount to kind of adjust left and right. And then just kind of where your intake sits, which is pretty much right by the exhaust. Obviously suboptimal location, but they do that, I think, in case you're running the inner chiller that they offer. And it takes up this area right here, so that's got to be pushed in instead of out in the corner. But one thing you can do, it looks like to get, if you want cold air to this, which I'll probably do later, is this piece right here. It's a big plastic piece uh, where your radiator is at. You can cut that out. A lot of people do that to put the lights on it. And they'll do each side and put the little yellow lights uh, that kind of stick out. And to make this really truly get good airflow, which I'll probably end up doing later, Dremel this cut out, pop that piece. And then you've got air running directly through there to the intake and it'll be colder air not cold air but better than engine bay hot air like what this is getting right now so that's the only downside uh, that i can see so far uh, everything else is pretty straightforward you just pop on now i did not mine didn't come out it's used like i said uh, it did not come with the clamp for the larger throttle bodies so i had to luckily i had one um, but maybe repetoon gives you both uh, I'm not sure since this is not new. Um, hopefully they do. So anyways, all right, so I've got it on. I uh, just got to tighten everything up. And then you have to take your, I'm assuming that's EZR. Um, that has to come off from here. That's too short to go up here. And so they did include a longer one and that I'm going to pop on and then kind of go. We're done. There. I got some 5 hose. Got connected. My sensor's in. It's sturdy. Okay, and then now we're going to get the rolling footage. probably actually might give you actual performance gains uh, more so than this Repetune in my guess but sound wise that there's I don't think anything's gonna beat this open element I mean this thing is sounds phenomenal okay, there you have it uh, Repetune intake uh, is done uh, compared to the AFE sound is no comparison uh, power there's no way for me to really judge that probably something similar I can't imagine there's like a huge difference between the two especially given that that's just dropping filters and an arm um, but sound wise or this sounds good. Uh, and also ease of working on the car, being lighter, the, all those reasons are why um, I chose this one, just because I'm under the hood a lot. There's quick change pulleys that I can change. The intake getting on and off is very cumbersome with the other setup, and this setup is so much better for me. So, uh, you know, make your own judgment whether what's better, what feels better for you. For me, the sound and the ease of working on the vehicle um, was the driving factor. So, so stay tuned. Uh, later this month, we are going to the drag strip. We've got races against the CFZ06. Uh, probably actually going to race the Tesla, a few other things. There's going to be some other cars too as well. We've got a private track rental coming up, so that's going to be a lot of fun. So we got a lot of drag racing coming up. Uh, I'm going to try to boost to 19 pounds uh, and see what the truck will do. Obviously, it's on the 85 at that boost level, so stay tuned. It's going to be fun. It's going to have a good, fun month. We're going to have some uh, good content. So if you don't mind, just like and subscribe and uh, enjoy.